What's up guys, this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get an emulator, um, an NES or SNES emulator on your PC. Now, uh, a quick note beforehand is that um, about the legality, regarding the legality of this, there is a court case that was passed um, a few years back, um, Sony versus, I forgot what, but the, uh, the case basically says that to have a legal copy of a ROM, you have to have the original game and upload it to your computer. You cannot download it from the internet. Now, that's not to say lots of people don't disregard the law and don't get in trouble anyways, but I'm telling you that to legally do this, you have to have the cartridge and upload it to your computer. Now, with that said, um, emulators are an awesome thing because they let you play all the old games on your PC. Now, uh, some of the downsides, of course, are if you use a keyboard, you're going to run into all kinds of, uh, it's harder to use a keyboard for something that's clearly made for a controller. So I'm going to show you the controller that I bought on Amazon, and I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay and show you a good NES emulator that I found. All right, now as you guys can see, I have the uh, iBuffalo SNES controller I purchased from Amazon. This is um, a very, it's not a very popular controller on Amazon, at least. It doesn't have a ton of reviews. But the reason I picked this was because all of the reviews I said said it was their favorite uh, controller that they've used. And I highly recommend it. The buttons on here are perfect replicas of the SNES. Um, the controllers, all the buttons have, they're actually quite tactile, which is awesome. Because most of the other uh, controllers have like mushy buttons. But these are very responsive, very tactile buttons. Then they have the L and R's on the back too. It has a turbo button, which if you don't know what that is, you can basically hook it up to a button and whenever you press it, it just it basically rapid fires the button. So you don't actually have to repetitively tap it. You can just hold it down, which is nice. Um, but it's definitely a very sturdy, well-built. It has a nice long cord. Um, I highly recommend this controller. It is an awesome awesome SNES controller. I haven't had the, uh, the privilege to use any other controllers, but I mean, this is, I'm totally happy with this. this is what, like 13 bucks on Amazon. Totally worth it in my opinion. So this is a good example of a controller to use because, um, you, you know, using a keyboard isn't always a preferred thing and using this has certainly enhanced my gaming experience. All right. So now that you've seen the controller that I have, um, uh, like I said, it really does help enhance the gaming experience. Now you're going to want to look into getting an emulator. Now the emulator I recommend for NES is FCEUX. Um, this is an awesome emulator that um, I, I used it for uh, Super Mario, as I'll demonstrate shortly. It um, You just download the thing. Um, the newest one is 2.2.2. It works really well, and it's really easy to use, so I'll, we'll dive into that. So to use this, you just say File, Open ROM, and then you find your ROM that you have uploaded to your computer. And once you have that, you can see the game. Now, to get your controller to work with the game, it's pretty much the same for most emulators. Uh, I'll show you a link to the SNES emulator that I like to use. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to, I believe it's different on all of them, but here it's config input, and you can see it uh, detects my gamepad here. Um, for some of them, what happens when you enter it into Windows is it looks like a, um, it says like an eight button input device. So uh, certain emulators show the eight button input device, and that's the one you're going to select. Then here you can configure all the different buttons. So if I say up and I hit up on my controller, then I, I've already calibrated it, but then you do all the different buttons. And for example, for B, I actually like to use the Y button on the SNES for B and then the B button for A, but it's all personal preference. You don't have to program them to the exact buttons. They will work with whatever. All right, and here is an example of me playing the game. So I'm gonna hit start right here and I'm gonna go ahead. Now, uh, a few things to notice is the, is the visual quality. I mean, I'm not sure how well it's gonna look with my screen recorder, but my guess is it's gonna look pretty darn good. And um, if you, um, the sound isn't very loud, but you can probably hear some of the sound and see how well it looks. So you can see all the, t all the speeds are the exact same as the original. Um, the colors actually look pretty vivid. Probably a little more vivid than they do on the actual console version, which which I like a lot. I'm a huge fan of that. All 
All right, and that's gonna conclude the gameplay portion of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.